Where's Porter? We're gonna be late. Hey, morning, sunshine. It took you so long. I had a terrible sleep. Oh, is it Carl snoring again? I do not snore. No, no, it's not that. My back is killing me. Ooh, back pain. Come on, let's go. I haven't even had breakfast yet. You know what would make your back feel better? Walking off the kinks. Come on, I need some moral support, buddy. Oh, yeah, I gotta help you with that big thing. Ooh, big thing. Sounds big. Uh, uh. I'm really nervous about pulling this off. Uh. Oh, look out. Oh. Doctor for 12 o'clock. Oh. Sorry. Thanks, Carl. My back has really put me out of it. I'm sure Jane would jump at the chance to go to prom with you. Yeah, I hope so. I just really want to do this right. Jane deserves it, and I want to impress her. Don't worry, man. I'll be right here with you. Let's give it one more shot. Let's give it everything we got. Cause if we get it right, we will surely conquer the world. I got my wings from an angel. Now we're winging it all the time. I'm giving wings to an angel. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Just go for it, Carl. Who can resist the Montclair charm? Yeah, I just hope I'm not too late. Oh, hey, Jane. Oh, okay, get in position. I wanted to ask you something. I'm here to sing to you with this song and old soft shoe. I'll sing and dance with pep. I'm here to take the final step, Carl Montclair. You're the bomb. I want to take you, take you to the prom. Oh, I wanted to ask Jane to prom, but she beat me to it. And how did she do it? With glitter and singing and tap dancing. And how was I gonna do it? Jane plus Carl equals prom. So you never answered my prom invite. You are gonna go to the prom with me, aren't you? You know, that's a big thing. It's huge, so, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm going to the prom with Carl Montclair. Time to go and get my hair done. I wish someone would ask me to prom. So, uh, the reason I called this staff meeting is so that we could decide who's gonna chaperone with me at the prom this year. What's all this noise about needing chaperones? I'm not doing it. Oh, yeah, and why is that? I hate seeing my hardcore gym violated like that. All fruit, fruit up. It's enough to turn a man off his lunch. Speaking of lunch, hydrate up. Okay, well, I guess I gotta say it then. Kasabi ought to do it. He hasn't been pulling his weight around here lately. Hey, 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 I've been pulling my weight plenty. Who did your cafeteria duty last week? I had anger management classes! Apparently not enough of them. He must not be a very good student. I'm the instructor. What does that mean? You want a piece of me? I will take you downtown. What are you gonna do to me downtown? I will do all the stuff they do to people downtown. I don't even know where to park downtown. I will take you on the bus downtown. Number seven? Doesn't go by my house. Enough of the downtown talk. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. I'm counting to three, and one of you four is gonna step forward and volunteer for the chaperone. One, two, three. Would the teachers please come back to the principal's office? Oh, Carl, I'm glad I found you. This is a swatch of my dress fabric. Oh, you have to get a tie to match. This is so exciting. You don't look excited about the swatch. I think this watch is exciting. No, no, this watch is very exciting. I mean, look at it. It's so, uh, square. What's wrong, Carl? Nothing. Tell me. No. Tell me. No. Tell me. No. Tell me. No. How many more tell me's do I need to do? <sighs> OK, it's just, I don't know. I, you asked me to prom before I had a chance, and I kind of had this thing planned. You had a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had this big thing planned, and you know, it had lots of, uh, ah, well, I guess you'll never see it now. But you know what? That's OK. No, that's not okay. Let's have a redo. Hmm? I'll pretend that I didn't ask you to prom so you can ask me. Oh, I can't wait to see what you do. Shh, neither can I. <laughs> see ya. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Serge. So, uh, you came for being Serge's prom date? Yes, yes. 
Oh, I can't believe you asked me. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Everything's coming up, Melissa. Excuse me. Uh, you can uh, cancel that ticket to Happyville, Melissa, because Serge is coming to prom with me. Yes. yes. Serge wanted to go to the prom with Melissa, but somehow Serge must have asked Brittany. Serge doesn't remember asking Brittany, but then again, Serge doesn't remember not asking Brittany. This is a head scratcher. Oh, I didn't know. It's okay. I've been working on my sidewalks lately. This is sidewalk number five. I think you forgot your button. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, Melissa is trying to date way, way, way out of her league. Trust me, I'm doing her a favor. I am such a good doer. Come on, Serge, we have a lot of campaigning to do. Take my arm. Hey, Porter, what's with the locker yoga? Oh, just trying to work the knots out of my back. Hey, Carl, why so muttery? Oh, it's just I have a uh, redo on my prom proposal with Jane, but her splashy and romantic invite is a little tough to beat. Oh, hey, Porter, could you magic me up some help? Oh, oh my back officially put me out of commission. Oh, I could help. Can I help, please? It might make me look good and maybe speed up getting my AIT assignment. Knock yourself out. All right, let's get to this. It needs to be big and colorful and fun. Oh, wait, yep. Yeah. Uh, ow! Vote Brittany for prom queen. Vote for me. Gotta say, you run a mean promotional campaign there, Brittany. It's probably why you're one of the finalists for prom queen. What do you mean, one of the finalists? I should be the onlyest? If you didn't think other girls were in the running, why are you campaigning? Uh, duh, because I like handing out things with my face on them. Ah, and look, here's another one of the finalists for prom queen now. Jane Casey, congratulations. What? I'm flattered, but the last thing I need on my resume is prom queen. My diverse background will be an asset here at the New York Times. What's that? Oh, um, I was prom queen. But that was a long time ago. What? I don't get the job? No! Are you sure this is gonna work? Jane loves balloons. She's president of the After School Musical Balloon Club. That's right, Balloony Tunes. <laughs> I think the tank's out of helium. Uh, no problem. One helium tank refill coming up. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with the prom decorations, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why so glum? No one asked me to prom. Uh, what about Serge? I thought you two liked each other. I guess he's going with Brittany. Oh. Now all the guys are taken. Man, if I just see one more happy couple get together, I don't know what I'll do. Uh-oh, happy couple. Forgive me, Carl. Jane! Uh, Jane, <clears throat> Casey. Carl, what's wrong with your voice? Uh, what's wrong with my voice? And my voice isn't so hot either, Jane. Oh, no, the helium tank is leaking. I hope they don't find out about this upstairs. Ah, uh, Jane. Uh, can't this wait? Nope, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to insist. You're asking me now? Oh, well, what better time than now to express my feelings? Uh, Would you go to prom with me? Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. No. Uh, oh, this was big, all right. Big disaster. Welcome to my world. Why? Why wait? Why would you want anything to do with me after that epic fail? Are you kidding me? The way you asked me to prom was almost perfect. Yeah, Jane, it was so far from perfect that we need a map to find moderately adequate. It only wasn't perfect because I didn't say yes. <sighs> yeah, that pretty much capped it off, didn't it? Look, I know my thing didn't work out, but what you did was a little harsh. I know. I'm so sorry. Why would you say no? I didn't want to hurt Melissa's feelings. Man, if I just see one more happy couple get together, I don't know what I'll do. I just went from thinking that Jane totally dissed me to thinking that Jane was the most awesome girl on the planet. The fact that she shot me down to protect Melissa makes me like her all the more. I'm always looking out for others, even when somebody's trying to ask you to prom. Yes. <laughs> Wait, is that a yes to helping others or a yes to go to prom with me? Yes, I would love to go to prom with you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Attention, everyone. There can only be one prom king, and it's all up to you, Bennett High. Look at all of Serge's kingly features, his chiseled jawline, his luscious hair, and his regal feet. What more can you want in a king? Hey, hands off, Missy, he's mine. And that goes for all of you. Only the queen gets the king. And don't forget to check out my website for my prom dress color scheme. Nobody wear anything that clashes with Fuchesia. Fuchsia. Gesundheit. She's walking sad walk number four. Serge must follow his heart. 
He can't go to the prom with Brittany. You know he can hear you. Oh, Serge thought he was talking to himself. What are you doing? Uh, this is the only position that doesn't make my back hurt. You better not be drooling on that couch. Your mom said it was okay for me to drool, so leave me alone. Ooh, whoa, oh. I see two huge knots. Ow! Oh, sorry, sorry. Ugh. So, look, if you're not busy, I was wondering if you could magic don me some super awesome slow dancing skills. <sighs> no, no, my back won't let me nod. Jean is going to be so disappointed because I won't be able to slow dance with her. Did I hear that my little man is worried about slow dancing? No, I didn't say that. Yes, he did. Come on, Thanks. I'll show you. Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, you're getting it, Carl. Oh, it's fantastic. All right, bring out those chips because here comes the dip. Ah! Mm, my back hurts. Join the club. Uh. OK, so nobody leaves this office until we decide who chaperones with me tomorrow. We are going to go old school. I've got four straws, and the person who draws the short straw chaperones with me tomorrow. Absolutely. Short straw helps chaperone. Thank you. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Would you look at that? It looks like I pulled the long straw, and the rest of you have the short straws. Looks like everyone's chaperoning except Dr. Kasabi. And that is how that is done. <laughs> Good day. Excuse me. It was the most hideous beaded bone bodice I had ever seen. <laughs> so what does your dress look like? You're just going to have to wait and see. Huh? Hey, Porter, who's your prom date anyways? Denise, it's easier that way. I don't want to get some girls' hopes up. <laughs> oh, speak of the AIT. Guys, I have huge news. What, what is, is it? it? They finally gave Denise her AIT assignment. <laughs> Congratulations, Congrats. man. Well, you look at that. Denise is all <laughs> grown up. I have some pretty big news, everybody. I know. I know. Thanks a lot, Kasabi. Well, that is amazing news, Denise. Yeah, congrats. Thanks, guys. Especially you, Porter. I couldn't have done it without you. There are too many ways to mention. Just don't mention it. It's time to go, Denise. We have a lot of paperwork to sign. So, Denise, where are you going? Well, that's for upstairs to decide, but you know if it were up to me, I think we should... No, 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 no. We have to go. Later, skaters. Well... There goes my prom date. <laughs> sure, buddy. Yeah, you too. Fit your tie. This is a little crooked. Carl, you have a special guest. Wow. <laughs> you look, uh, I mean, the stress is. And your hair is, uh, it's just... You look sufficiently stunned. Yeah, well, that's because I was supposed to come pick you up. I know, but I was just so excited. Carl, Jane is totally vibing you. Ma! It's okay, I so am. <laughs> Can we go now? Yeah, we should before your mom starts to cry. <laughs> oh. Just one more picture. That's nice. Get out of here, you crazy kids. Oh, there's no memory card in there. Can I do... All right, let's do prom. Everyone looks so nice. Not as nice as you. Oh. Great job on the decorations. Come on, Serge, it's time to make our rounds. Enough is enough. Serge has to make things right. He's got to step up to the plate, pick up the puck, and head right into the end zone. This whole Melissa thing is so distracting, it's making Serge forget how sports work. You know what I am? I'm a designated decoy. I act all suspicious so that the teachers follow me. That way, they won't notice anything else that goes on. Serge doesn't want to be your date. Serge wants to go to the prom with Melissa. <gasps> Well, you can forget about that, meathead. Me and you are going to be king and queen. Get that, numbskull? Uh, hey, no one talks to my Serge that way. Uh, 
So help me, Brittany, if you don't get your stinking paws off Serge, I'm gonna tell everyone you shop at the Discount Makeup Beauty Barn. How did you know that? I work there as a cashier and part-time makeup tester. <laughs> well, fine, because I don't want to be seen with anybody that wants to be seen with Melissa anyway. Attention, please. Attention, everyone. It is now finally time to announce the results of the vote for the prom king and queen. What's going on? Doc, you stop me. What's going on? I have some good news. It's about your sore back. You know why it's been acting up? It's your wing nubs. Wing nubs? Really? I'm getting wings? I'm going to be a full angel? That's awesome, man. That's great news, Porter. <laughs> well, it's, it's a mixed blessing. You have to tell him, Porter. I never imagined it would be this hard. I know, but it's almost time to go. Go? Go where? <laughs> I completed my assignment, Carl. I was sent here to make you popular. Now, you don't need me anymore. I'm so happy for you, but it's not gonna be the same without you. I'm gonna miss you so much, Porter. I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> this is it. No. No, this can't be it. I have to go back upstairs. No. That's just how it works, buddy. I want to thank you for everything. I want to thank you for everything, Porter. What am I going to do without you? You'll do fine, man. It's time now, Porter. Wait, the Lister and sisters are... Yes, Carl. They've been watching over me. Hi, Carl. I'm going to stick around a little longer to make sure everything with you is okay. Order it's time. Watch this, Carl. Look at me, Carl. Looking sharp, buddy. Come, Porter. Attention, please. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time, finally, to announce the results of the vote for the prom king and queen. Excuse me, everybody. Prom queen coming through. And the prom queen is Brittany Hansen. <laughs> what a surprise. And the prom king is Carl Moncler. <laughs> is a surprise. Congratulations, Mark Claire. Uh, you're not the most popular kid at Bennett High. Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> Go on, get your crown. <sighs> Carl, as king and queen, we have to have the first dance. It's tradition. Oh. I have been waiting a very long time for this moment. And Jane, you've always been my prom queen. I have this dance. I'll always dance with you, Carl.
guys for. There she is. Go tell her. I can't believe this is happening. She's your assignment. Go tell her. I don't want to. Go tell her. Worst assignment ever. Ugh. Worst prom ever. I cannot believe Cara Montclair won prom king and then totally blew off me. Brittany, there's nothing anybody can say to help turn my mood around. Brittany, we need to talk. <laughs> 